Welcome to Boone Pickens Stadium, Stillwater, Oklahoma, home to the Cowboys of Oklahoma State. Pistol Pete ready to start firing those pistols for the battle we have in store. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number 10 team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on the 25th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Bruce Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Utes will kick it away first. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. So Oklahoma State's offense will have the first possession of the game. When your quarterback takes the field, you want him to look just like this guy, exuding confidence. Yeah, the it factor. He's the man. Nobody questions it. Everybody on this team knows they've got his back and he's the leader. Everybody in this stadium also knows the offense goes as this guy goes. He has got to play well today. The RPO, fire complete to the left. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. That was a really nice catch and an even better run after the grab. Yeah, and get that ball to your playmaker. What's good about having him in the slot is he can go either direction. You can get him matched up on somebody that's not as fast. And you watch, he can run away from those linebackers or safeties. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Now they'll run the draw. And it's on the ground. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. First down for this offense. To the air, it's rising. Quickly complete. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. The hand to the running back. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Looking for room. It's Randall. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. They'll go to the ground. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. How bold will they be on third down after that last one? Caught over the middle. It's Keefe. Offenses gain momentum with third down conversions like that. They've got it at the 25. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Second down, lost the throw. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. On the option. He'll pitch it. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Utah! And you got to be so disciplined when you play the option. you got to keep your eyes on your guy. They lost track of the pitch, man. The quarterback pitches it to him. He takes it in the house. Got to be a little bit more sound on defense. They'll try to add another to their lead.
And the extra point makes it 7 0. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And what a way to finish it with a nine yard touchdown run. He'll bring it out. It's Andrews. Smashes through the tackle. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. From the gun, the ground game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Running back searching for a hole. Strong run to get it out to the 21-yard line. They pick up a six. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Throws to the wideout. Working that left side. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. The Cowboys racing to the line in the hurry-up. Motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Got the first down. Looking for more. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. I love this play call. You want to get your playmakers to football in space. What a creative way. This little kind of push pass by the quarterback. Get into the receiver's hands quickly and let him go make yards. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Let's see what they've got on second down. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying to lead to. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat, I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the defense. And the Cowboys have pushed it inside the 20. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hash. Good right down the boulevard. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. On the ground, it's Glover. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll give it to the battle. Just enough there to get it to the 25. They pick up a two. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. They'll try to power their way ahead. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stops him short of the marker. The Utes line up to punt it away. On the return, it's Presley. Tries to find a little more running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Good pickup on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Here's the handoff. Nice move to keep moving. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Back to pass, it's Bowman. Looking left. Wide open downfield. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. They'll go to the counter. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. They'll try the run. 
and he'll be tackled, but there is a flag on the field. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. They'll keep it on the ground. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. He uncorks one deep. Touchdown, Cowboy! He broke away from the defense and they couldn't catch him. And man, is that perfect timing. You can tell quarterback drops back. He sees his guy and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field cover, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the finisher coming on that 42-yard touchdown toss. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. The give to the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On the run, it's rising. Got his man downfield. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. And the Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in and week out, working on those critical down distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. Looking to throw on second down. Catch in the middle, it's Alfred. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. They'll leave it with the lone back. Not much of a gain there on the ground, and that will do it for the first quarter. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and Oklahoma State has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Hand off from the gun. Nice move there. He stops him at the 31, but not before. He picks up 10 yards on the play. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. They go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. On the run, it's Bernard. Miles ahead for a pickup of one to the 32. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit. He's going to try to knock one through from 49 yards away. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. And with the field goal, we are tied here in the second quarter. And three more on the board, and this kicker is starting to get a reputation starting off the season. Hasn't missed yet. Nice to have a guy that you can really, really depend on. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll leave it with him. And he could not get loose on the run. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10.
power football with the run. Just gets it to the 28, pickup of one. Third and 10, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. Back to throw, it's Bowman getting some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. You'll call for the fair catch here. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. Handoff to the single running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he drops the throw. The short hand, it's Parks. Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. I love the job the quarterback does surveying the defense there. Great job pre-snap recognition, understanding the coverage. He goes to his curl route, gets the completion, and picks up the first. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. They'll go right back to it. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. Looking for room. It's Bernard. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. He boomed it through. A 50-yard field goal showing off that powerful leg. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. LSU managed to eke out the victory in a tighter-than-expected one. Don't blame the gumbo there in Baton Rouge this week. These Tigers are to blame for this one being this close. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Oklahoma State has it back and the offense is on the field. The give to the back. Real power running by this guy as he bangs his way to the 24. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. To the ground with the back. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, giving one. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And the Cowboys will bring the punt team onto the field. Well, the offense is trying to get it down on the ground there on third down, but they just can't seem to make it work because of how physical the defense has been, guys. It's made this offense very one-dimensional. I mean, the only way it seems they can move the football is when they try to throw it. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the running back. Runs through a tackle. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Give to the running back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Running to the left. Got the first down and still on his feet. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. 
And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Utes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They move the tight end all over. The give to the tailback. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. They'll try to bully their way for the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. Right down the boulevard, it's good. How great is it to know that if you can get the ball down somewhere close to the 40-yard line on your opponent's side of the field, you're walking away with at least three points because this dude is automatic. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense. They'll run it from the gun. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Right back to him on the ground. Punches ahead. They'll give him a yard to the 13. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. Looking to throw. It's Bowman. He's right on target. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He's looking to throw it. It's complete to the left. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. They're working that left side. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. The Cowboys want to crank the tempo. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. The punt team makes its way onto the field. A fair catch called for and made. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Fires to the tight end. Dragged down at the 46 after a pickup of five and the first down. This guy's gotten off to a good statistical start, guys. With that last completion, he's already now over 1,000 passing yards on the season. And, man, you know he's looking for more. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Looking downfield, it's rising. Fires to the wideout. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Utes! And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. Hey, just a really nice throw. Really good touch towards the sideline on that corner route. And the receiver does a nice job catching the football and immediately getting up the field, 
getting in the end zone for the big touchdown. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. It's complete. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wants to throw on second down. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. The defense is going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Hand off to the lone back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half, and the Cowboys will punt this one away. Typically, at this spot on the field, you make a fair catch. I'd call that risk-aversive, but it is good field position. They'll throw it on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Alford. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver, and the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Tackle is made after the first down. And the Utes come to the line in the hurry-up. Got to get lined up to spike it and stop the clock. Offense gets set for second down. To throw, it's rising. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Feeling some heat. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, fellas, looks like you've had a very enjoyable day there today in Stillwater. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, let's head back to the home of the Pokes and Boone Pickens Stadium. The Cowboys will kick it away to start the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Just trucks through it. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Leaves it with the back. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. Offense working from the pistol. They'll ride the hot hand. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Well, they keep it on the ground. Wants to throw. It's rising. Fires a ball, and now it's picked off. Got to run to run. Pass the tackle. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. These guys can play offense, too. Look at this. I'll show you. I can be a wide receiver. Coach Mike spun out a wide receiver next 
week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, they've been playing for the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy since 1935. Minnesota and Iowa. And now it's a final. Iowa stomped a mud hole en route to a double-digit win. And they did it outside of Iowa City. That speaks to the way this coach has galvanized this team and the direction this program is headed. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. You've got a third and manageable back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. And that's a welcome sight. Like, this offense has really, really struggled. Bottom 50 in college football in first down. So they'll take anything they can get. Nice third down conversion. Let's get some positive plays. Keep it third and short. Find a way to get this offense in an upward trajectory because so far this season, they've really struggled. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid cut. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see them develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Looking for space. It's Glover. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. The Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense, unstoppable. They're trying to go option, and they're trying to put that defensive end in a bind, but he's just way too athletic, and he guessed right. The quarterback was keeping the ball. He knew it and was able to make the tackle in the backfield. And it's right down the boulevard. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather and he takes this from inside the five really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Oklahoma State hoping to get the pistols firing on offense give to the running back finds a little bit of space gets three to the 22 got three on first down at second and seven they go right back to it. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. They'll go to the ground. Nice move to keep running. 
And they exploited that soft spot, and they get it down to the 35. And the Cowboys will hustle through the line. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground. And you see the speed by the ball carrier there, Reese, picking up a huge chunk of yards. I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't just run that play again. If, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why not just go back to the well one more time? On the run, it's Gordon. Across the 25, he's got room. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Cowboys look to do some damage in the red zone. Fires left. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. This offense has a second down play. Trying play action. Pressure coming. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And a big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. He looks that one in nicely. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Utah has a back on the offense coming onto the field. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on it. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. He'll do it himself. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the youth send out the punt unit. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing the zone replay, you got to read that defensive end. And if he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Running back searching for a hole. Finding a way to put that foot in the ground and get it up to the 37-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll go right back to it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth that they can't move the chains. Oh, and what a move. What a juke, and he makes it past the mark. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. The pull and throw off the RPO. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. And on second down for this offense. Good timing on the quick out. Tackle is made at the 44, but he picked up 10 yards and enough for a first down. And the Cowboys are marching down the field. They try to pop a run on the draw. 
and he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The give to the lone running back. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. Trying to wear down this defense. A seventh play of the drive. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. The Cowboys come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Now the play fake. Trying to get to it. And the pressure was in his grill in an eyelash. What a great play by the defensive tackle. Look, sacks aren't just for very athletic, long defensive ends. These D-tackles, man, they use their strength. They push Lyman back in the pocket, collapse it, and come away with the sack. And this offense has gotten off to a good start on third down, but this is a different deal on third and long. The inside handoff. Oh, what a move! And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Well, they're able to catch the defense off guard. They're obviously thinking past. This back is dangerous on first down, second, and third. And he shows you the vision and shows you the speed. And I just love how decisive he is. He's getting north right away. And third down and long, man, everything in you knows it's a pass. Surely they're not going to run the football. But I think what you said is important, having a guy like this that can chew up yards so quickly, because I'm thinking just make the tackle. No big deal. Force the fourth down. But man, what a nice play by the running back. Pushes ahead for two to the seven-yard line. Boy, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. To the air, it's Bowman. And that ball is intercepted at the goal line. The 50. At the th Look at that toughness just running through everybody. Touchdown, Utah. How about that D coming up with a play like that? They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. It is one thing to come up with the interception. No, 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 don't stop there. Turn it into a score. Make a big play and don't be content. That's right, go out and make an even bigger play, and he does it. He makes the pick and then takes it all the way back to the house. Looked like a wide receiver, for goodness sakes. Turn it on the Jets, making the big play. They'll line up to go for two. He's looking to throw. And it's intercepted, maybe breathing a little life into this team. The 50. Still on his feet. Kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Oklahoma State has it back, and the offense is on the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to do now. Jesse, this offense has to put a drive together. Yeah, they have to recapture some momentum here. What they can't do is go three and out and give the ball right back. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. And now on second down for this offense. 
to the air. It's Bowman using the quick game. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? To the ground to try to pick up the first. Turns it on in midfield. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with the first down. Yeah, third and one, you know they're running the football. It's just a matter of who's getting it and where they're going. But this offense, it really didn't matter. Nice job up front. Nice execution. Picking up not only the one, making it an even bigger play and getting the first down. They're trying to get to it. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. And the Cowboys getting set on first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. Caught in the backfield, it's Gordon. Got some room, headed to the goal line. Touchdown, Cowboys! And they take it in for six more points. They got the score they needed, but this isn't over. No, don't call it a comeback yet. The first part, step one accomplished. This offense obviously still has work to do, but the defense has to go out and get a stop and get him the ball. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, gigantic implications in this top 15 battle today, and check out what's going down. Oklahoma is trailing, but don't tell me this team can't come back. I once saw Jalen Hurts lead the Sooners back from 28-3 down. We'll see what they're made of today. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to Tennessee. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pick up a four. They'll run it from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Utes will try to pin them back with the punt. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That, that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. And this defense has its work cut out to get this dude on the ground. He was shedding serious tackles on his way to picking up the first. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Running game worked on first down. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Ball spotted right at midfield as they try to convert third and short. Looking to throw, it's Bowman. Fires to the right. And this is going to be incomplete on third. The Cowboys will send out the punt unit. After that incompletion, fourth and short now on their own side of the field, I think there's a lot of coaches in normal circumstances that would stay conservative and just punt the ball away. But you're trailing here in the fourth quarter. I think the offense needs to stay out on the field. And you got to go for it. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Just a short pass to the tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. That completion leaves us with second and medium. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Got the first down and more. And he's bounced out of bounds, but not before a very productive pickup. Now on first down from the 43. They're going to ride this running back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll put the tight end in motion. That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball game? That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. 
Well, this offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. Defense is about learning the plays. Third down, what do they like to do? How do they do it? So far, the offense having a little bit of success, but the defense now you got to figure out what they're doing. We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Going to run it. It's Bernard. He rolls all the way down the five-yard line before they finally get him stopped. Calling a timeout here, you have to avoid making a mistake in this situation. A first down run in the red zone. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? The run up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains on the ground he's not gonna get there stop short on fourth down first and ten from inside their own five you got to take care of the ball but there is room to take a shot here got a man it's presley and he's tripped up but not before picking up the first down trying to get everybody set with the clock still running comes out throwing on first down it's on target and complete that kind of play will get a drive started or help your field position. They've got it at the 27. To the air on first down. He's taking the deep shot. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. Well, that's exactly why you practice these two-minute situations. The quarterback knew exactly where to go. He's trying to work the sideline, save some clock. Great route by the receiver getting open, making the catch, getting out of bounds. And this drive is off to a pretty good start. That last big play has them in business. Just outside the red zone, it's first and ten. He'll just keep slinging it. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Bowman. Unloads to the wide out. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. And those big moments in, right before the half in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. You've got to go take the lead. They do everything they can now. Defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Quick strike complete. He'll be stopped short. Still a one-point game here in the fourth. They'd hoped to push this edge out to a field goal, but they were denied. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. The Utah offense returns ready to go back on the attack. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man quickly. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. He's going to pass on second down. He's got his man. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. Clock stops momentarily for the first down. They'll hurry to the line. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's going up top here late in the game. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push. Fires and picked off. Looking for more room. Pistols firing. Touchdown, Cowboys. The 
defense puts six on the board with a big time interception return. And this is exactly what you dream about for a defense, forcing the big turnover, making the pick, and then putting points on the board yourself. Great play by the defense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he splits the uprights and pushes the lead to eight here in the fourth. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Utah has it back on the offense coming onto the field. Okay, one possession game. You've got some time to work with, but you have to make up some ground quickly, David. Got to be smart. Can't throw in front of the sticks. Can't get tackled in front of the sticks. Make sure we're taking some shots down the field, chewing up some yards. Jesse, the defense will be vulnerable here. Yeah, and I think because of that, David, offensively, you got to... Gives him a little shake, and he's got some room. Afterburner's coming. The tag! And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Utes! And massive play by this offense. This is exactly what you needed. You got the score. Now you got to get the two-point conversion. Time's not on your side. There is no wait till a later point. It's go time. What's your two-point play in this spot to tie the game up late? This crowd is rising up, trying to help its defense make a stand on the two-point try. Looking to pass. It's rising. Finds his big tight end. He's not going to get there. Running and trying to tie this game up late, and the defense is able to stop it. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. The offense just wants to run out the clock in this half, but he still has a couple of timeouts if they want to use them. This one was a lot like a tennis match, back and forth, up and down, and they just couldn't quite score enough and get the key stop to get the win. And defenses have changed, right? It's not about limiting to low points anymore, but you got to find ways to create turnovers and get that ball back to your offense so they can do their damage. Defense just needed to create a few more opportunities. I think it just came down to individual effort on the defensive side of the football for this team. Somebody needs to step up in big moments and big games and make the play to win. We didn't see it happen today. That's going to do it for us from here.